Now, there is another little tool on the market which I think is really good and we are promoting these in the training school. This is a little stubby tool. You've probably heard of the stubby tools. They were uh, invented by Daniel Marsh out in Australia. We use them in the training school because I think they're a great, great tool. It just fits in there nice. Pushes the coat former on as it fits into the gap and then grips everything. So you use it on the coat former, then once you fitted the floor in, you can use it again. It's done a good tool. It is a really good, yeah. good tool. What a lot of people struggle with is bending the outro up onto the co former. You don't have to worry, the strength is in the back. As you can see, the scrim is the strength. Even if you hear that noise, don't worry about it. That is just a scrim stretchy, but it means that you're getting it into the co former, which we do have floor layers struggling to get that on there, especially when it's cold. There's nothing worse than trying to weld it when it's not on there. You do get some architects come along with a pencil and they're going, you can hear that, it's loose, yeah? And the only way around that is pull the flooring back off and re-glue. Again, this tool, same, pushes it in to place. And there, it's fitting, okay? Take it into the corner. What I always do then to make sure is I always roll with this just to make sure that it's on the wall. What I would normally recommend as well, and that's entirely up to you, we normally get a lot of complaints where this starts to eventually peel away from the wall. So to avoid that, I always run a bead of clear silicon all the way around the top of that, and that helps it bond. You can't see it because it's clear, but it gives you that extra little bit of protection. <laughs>